I'm going to start creating Fury app. So press F2, sorry, F1 and say Fury and choose SAP Fury application generator. So come down and you can see SAP Fury application generator. Okay, generate. You see here SAP Fury application generator. Choose that. We're going to build a freestyle Fury application now. I will start with the master detail template with freestyle. So this was also a question. Can you show me how to build freestyle Fury app on cap? Yes, there you go. So that's the freestyle. Choose the master detail application. Click next button. And I'm going to choose my data source over here. So let's choose connect to a system. And we will choose here the our cap destination. Cap and project destination. And we will put the URL of our service. So it was slash v2 slash catalog service. So we need to use v2 because still uh, for Fury better better quality is v2. However, you can use uh, v4 also uh, for some Fury elements. So remember, this is how we can access the metadata of any service. Yes, so we can just go back and take this path. This is the path we are going to take for the service. Yes, so of course it shows unauthorized, but here it will work. So let's put slash v2 slash catalog service. Now it's contract contacting that via the destination and trying to pull all the entities from the v2 service. Wow, it worked. There you go. This is killer content, guys. This is killer content. I've taken already all the online courses available on Udemy, Coursera, any platform where people are claiming that they are teaching BTP. Any trainer on internet on YouTube you can think of everyone have taken the courses none of them cover this topic some companies they are claiming that they are teaching entire BTP in 16 hours I want to ask you guys you have taken my BTP training now almost is it possible to cover all of it what we learned in 16 hours what do you think what kind of training will be what do you think? Is it possible no. that somebody is saying no. that their website teaching BTP become a BTP expert 16 hours? How is it possible? It's impossible, which means they are cheating with you. These training companies are cheating with students. They are playing with innocent students who which are, don't know, don't even know what BTP is. They are in the hope that it will change their career. They don't even cover access UA. They don't even cover app router. They don't even cover manage app router. Just upar upar se bata diya. Like open SAP courses. Do not get trapped. I'll just choose a sales order, purchase order. I want to build purchase order application. With that, we have association to purchase order items. So we can use that. So we'll build a freestyle pure application for purchase order. Click on ID. Create an object ID. So it's just pulling up all the details. So we're just going to take the purchase order ID. So ID is the GUID. ID is the GUID of the purchase order. Then we have the cross amount. We will have the currency code. Just come down to add a uh, Anubhav, uh, few questions. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so Anubhav, a uh, couple, couple of things. Uh, first is uh, here, uh, uh, we, we don't have it. We never see an option of still choosing a managed app router or you know, our own app router. So, mm -hmm. So please allow me to proceed. It will be okay. answered. Next question.
with this, we will provide the necessary details. So you see, would you like to add deployment configuration? Yes, because we want to deploy this app to Cloud Foundry. Would you like to add Fury Launchpad configuration? Yes, because I want to also deploy this app to Launchpad, SAP Fury Launchpad. Would you want to configure advanced option? If you say yes, then it will also come up like this. You see the UI5 theme which you want to use. So I want to use the dark theme. Yes. Would you, would you like ES lint checks, JavaScript assistance libraries? So all that we can say. Yeah, you can say no. Later on, you can also add. Click on next. Now we will add deployment configuration. So I would like to also deploy this application to SAP BTP. Yes. So the deployment command later on is Fury add deploy dash config. You can run to add the deployment configuration at later point of time. If you have forgotten that, join my UI5 Fury training, which is starting. Uh, tomorrow morning seven o'clock. So guys, we also have a new batch coming on SAP UI5 freestyle Fury app development You can join that where we are going to cover detailed Fury app freestyle app development Which is a must-have course for every app developer for every developer They must must know how to develop Fury apps. They must 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 hundred percent know how to develop Fury app that is going to be adding a, a great thing to your skills it's a must have training. So if you and your colleagues are looking for freestyle Fury app development with with node with node.js and uh, with SAP VS with the VS code, which is a free tool or the best tool, please join my freestyle Fury app development course. So all of this is covered in freestyle Fury app development course. I've given the link. Now I'll choose the repository. So we should choose the system as Cloud Foundry, not a app because we want to deploy in <laughs> on the Cloud Foundry. So now here. We choose Cloud Foundry and uh, it will automatically load the BC settings. So, this is our cap destination. And you see now, someone asked me just a few seconds ago, how do we tell that we want to use managed app router? There you go, you see. So, here the system is not going to add a app router separately. It will be using the built in Cloud Foundry managed app router. Now, this app router is available with SAP Fury Launchpad service only. Yes, so this setting is by default you keep it. Yes, so it will it will not add it as a node module Neither add it as a app router separate app router won't be added It will reuse the central app router which is already available in SAP BTP So you will not consume extra memory You will not need to manage the app router separately and this application will work like a HTML5 app not as a not as a uh, not as a other type of application it will work as a html5 app yes so in the past uh, the capm we added it as a node.js application but the correct way is build a html5 application so click next we will now add semantic configuration for fury launchpad so i say uh, anubhav btp training title is my purchase order app or Yes, my PO app anuboutrainings.com. That's our official website. And I click on finish. So, congratulations. You can see the freestyle Fury application for purchase order is getting generated. And if you know UI5 Fury app development, you are aware of all this view, controller, test folder, router, root match handler, manifest JSON, model, formatters, fragments, component JS, index HTML, bootstrapping binding property binding element binding all these concepts you are well aware of i don't need to teach you again if you're not aware of these concepts i highly recommend you to join my course starting tomorrow morning seven to eight o'clock india time on basics of ui5 and fury that's a very important course that's a very 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 fundamental course to learn sap ui5 fury this training we are not going to learn fury app development again because again otherwise it will be another 40 hour only for fury so now we're done and let's test our application right away but i would want to test my application more on the on the launchpad directly so we will now deploy this application so before i deploy i would like to show you the architecture of html5 application how exactly it works what all the backing services it use So the first backing services service it will use is the destination service destination backing service why it will use the destination backing service to read the destination 
from SAP BTP at runtime for the purpose of connection. The second backing service is use connectivity service. So once the destination is read, it will use connectivity service to connect to our O data source using Fury app. So that is the second service. Then it will also use HTML5 deployer service. This is this will be used to deploy our application to HTML5 repository. So just like we if you have multiple cars, where does your cars live? Your cars will live inside a garage, right? You will have a garage area in your house where you will park all your luxury cars, right? Similarly, in SAP BTP, there is a specific area created by SAP, which is called HTML5 repository. Repository, you see the name called repository. So what is a repository where you deposit something like bank in the bank you park your cash right that's a repository of cash repository of gold repository of bonds repository of insurance papers repository of lockers similarly in sap btp there is a special a special area called html5 repository which is a area where we deposit all our fury apps all whether it's a freestyle whether it is a uh, is a fury element all are deposited in that repository all the fury apps live inside that repository just like in a bab system if you lay taken my ui5 fury training all the fury apps resides inside the abap repository where they live as a bsp application here this html5 repository is a storage area of all the fury apps in the btp so the html5 deployer backing service will deploy your app to the html5 repository then there is another service called html5 repo runtime repository runtime service this service will load the fury app when requested at runtime so after you deposit you need someone to withdraw also right so you send someone to withdraw the cash to the bank right so this is the withdrawal so when user requests that I want to test this Fury app or run this Fury app, use this Fury app, this agent, repo runtime agent, the backing service is responsible to go to the repository, interact with the repository, know where your application lives and fetches that application at runtime from, uh, from that repository to show to the user. So these are the two backing services, additional backing services which we would need. So we, they will be also plugged into then we also need something called fury launchpad service this is of course a another service which displays fury app as a type so if you are developing many fury application in your company 10 20 100 so you cannot give URL of every Fury app to the user. You cannot do that, right? You cannot do that. So you need to basically uh, need a central place. Yes, central place to basically offer the, a central place to offer all the Fury apps. That central place is called SAP Fury Launchpad.